Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The Lockheed Martin C-5 Galaxy is the largest military cargo plane in use by the U.S. military. Though first introduced in 1970, this massive aircraft remains a staple at air bases all around the world. The reasons for this are quite clear. The C-5 can carry more cargo faster and further than almost any other cargo plane in existence. Despite being 247 feet long and boasting a max takeoff weight of 840,000 pounds, the C-5 can carry loads up to 2,600 miles at speeds of up to 532 miles per hour. As one might expect, designing an aircraft with such impressive capabilities takes quite a bit of ingenuity. More than that, it takes some extremely powerful and versatile engines. Over its 50-year service history, the C-5 Galaxy has proven itself capable of carrying an impressive amount of loads. The capacity of its 120-foot-long cargo bay is up to 36 master pallets, or a total of 281,000 pounds. This translates into two Chinook helicopters, two M1 Abrams tanks, or six Apache Longbow helicopters. When needed, the C-5 can also carry up to 73 troops and all the equipment they might need for deployment. One of the most important aspects of the C-5's design is how the nose assembly raises and closes for loading and unloading. Over the years, many more heavy lifting cargo planes would include this time-saving feature. The C-5 is powered by four General Electric F-138-100 turbofan engines, each of which is capable of putting out 51,000 pounds of thrust. The engine's sheer power is clear not only during takeoff and landing, but also when the C-5 performs on-the-ground maneuvers like this reverse thrust test. Such a maneuver could, in theory, reduce taxi and takeoff time, as it allows the Galaxy to move under its own power rather than waiting to be taxied or towed. Each of the General Electric engines is more than 8 feet in diameter and weighs nearly 10,000 pounds.
Still, it should come as no surprise that the engines themselves need a lot of maintenance in order to ensure they stay in tip-top shape. In many cases, the entire engine itself may need to be replaced. Here, you can see the engine being removed from the cowling that attaches it to the aircraft. Once free, it is much easier for the maintenance crews to repair. While the C-5's immense size makes it a major asset to the U.S. Air Force, one of the most frequently employed cargo aircraft of all is the Boeing C-17 Globemaster. The C-17 is actually quite a bit newer than the C-5, having first joined the U.S. Air Force fleet in the mid-1990s. It is 174 feet long, and boasts a near-equal wingspan. While this is considerably smaller than the Galaxy, the C-17 also has some amazing hauling capabilities. For instance, it can carry up to 170,000 pounds of equipment, including as many as 18 master pallets. It can also transport up to 134 troops, a single Abrams tank, or two Bradley armored vehicles. The Globemaster's fully loaded range is an impressive 2,420 miles, and it can also reach speeds of up to 520 miles per hour. Altogether, this adds up to a fast, agile transport that can carry a wide range of weapons and personnel to the front lines and beyond. One of the things that makes the C-17 so useful to the modern military is its ability to land virtually anywhere, stop on a dime, and back up under its own power. Its four Pratt & Whitney F-117PW100 engines produce around 40,000 pounds of thrust. When reversed, the C-17 can be brought to a rapid stop on nearly any type of surface. The ability to not have to rely on taxi and tow assistance further enhances the C-17's ability to operate from virtually anywhere, including small forward operating bases and even Arctic science stations.
Like the plane itself, the C-17's engines are designed to be workhorses. As such, they require frequent maintenance and, on occasion, replacement. Taking a C-17 engine out for repair is a difficult task that requires the efforts of multiple skilled maintenance techs. Each one of these 12-foot-long, 7-foot-diameter turbofan engines weighs over 7,000 pounds. The process generally takes around 48 hours to complete, as removing an engine from its cowling and replacing it requires pinpoint precision and alignment. Such a process can be made even more difficult when it needs to be done in the field, far away from a hangar where all the required equipment is already present. Once removed from the cowling, an aircraft engine can be repaired much more easily. These are complex machines with thousands of moving parts, and it takes multiple teams to inspect, repair, and replace anything that has been worn or damaged. Of course, as important as the engines are, the maintenance process by no means stops there. All components, from the landing gear to the fuel lines to the cockpit instruments and electronics, need to be regularly tested and evaluated. This is performed by a maintenance squadron divided into groups assigned to each major aircraft component. Another veteran cargo aircraft that still sees regular use by the U.S. military is the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. Not only is it the longest continually produced military aircraft still in operation, but it is also a propeller-driven plane, boasting four Allison T-56A-15 turboprop engines, each with its own 13-foot diameter propeller. Here you can see a propeller being removed in order to provide maintenance techs with better access to the engine. Hey, God's a broken ASAP, dude. Unlike jets, these engines have multiple access points, so they don't need to be removed except in worst case scenarios. Some of these engines have components dating back more than 60 years, so it's essential that they be well-maintained and carefully inspected at all times. Operational checks like this one are absolutely essential to the safety of crew members, which is why maintainers like these from the 165th Airlift Wing, Georgia Air National Guard, take great care to run the engines before passing the plane off to the normal crew members. This process allows the team to listen for potential issues that might not be apparent during inspection. It also gives them an idea of how the engines will perform when placed under different amounts of strain. Only once the evaluation has been completed will this C-130 earn its seal of approval and be cycled back into normal operation. Few planes have a better reputation for performance and versatility than the C-130. At only 97 feet long, this powerful little cargo craft can carry up to 42,000 pounds. This translates into roughly 92 passengers or up to 74 airborne troops.
It can also carry between two and three Humvees with two M113 armored personnel carriers. When mostly empty, the aircraft can take off with just 1,400 feet of runway. But more importantly, it can function with virtually no runway at all. The Hercules can handle almost any surface with little problem, from sand and grass to ice and snow. This gives it the ability to deliver troops and equipment to the most far-flung parts of the world, which is often where they're most needed. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.